morning. Morning. For, oh, Marple. Marple, just above the Marple flight. Which is on... supposed to be closed, but a boat's just gone past, so. Yes, maybe, possibly. I didn't see it. I saw a boat going this way. That was when I see, well, yeah, and there was a grey boat that went that way. Okay. When I see something, it's like, yeah, it might have happened or it might not. It only actually happens if you see it with your own eyes. But you saw it go that way past the tunnel. You didn't see it. It was facing that you way. You didn't see ever any chance of it turning around. Or How could it turn around that? I don't know. I'm just wondering. It's I mean, just... it could have done a turn and then, yeah, anyway. Right. See, there is a possibility that it isn't the Marple Flight. Because the Marple Flight is supposed to be closed right now. Um, interestingly, by the way, it, it, it sort of... It's sort of hard to understand like you know we 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 came up the peak forest from the ashton to get to the marble flight we came up the marble flight we were cruising for hours i walk over to this bridge up here and you go up this little curly turn that's a it's a horse crossover bridge and at the very top you can look down and you can see this sort of slope leading down into ashton yeah and it's like we didn't travel very far at all <laughs> we we've gone like maybe two and a half minutes by car Away from, <laughs> we were there a week ago. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like pretty sh pretty sure I can't quite tell if that's the the um, IKEA because it's, oh, yeah. it's the right color, but it's the like it's turned in such a way that I can't see the sign. But I'm like, man, that's we are really close. That's kind of depressing. Okay, well, you know, because that was like a week ago. Yeah. <sighs> so anyway, I have a story to remember this morning. Oh, I thought that was the story. No, that's not the story. The story is this. People are constantly talking to us and Craig and saying, you know, I wish you had I had your life. Your life looks so ideal and everything. And there's lots of ideal things about being on the boat. There's lots of good things about being on the boat, especially in the time of COVID. We can move. We are socially distanced kind of by default. We don't really have to worry too much. You know, this is all really good. But there are downsides. Yeah. And I want to communicate one of the downsides today. Okay. One of the things you have to do occasionally is you have to take if you have a composting toilet a tank that looks like this in our case this is our what we you know kind of politely call our liquids tank to not kind of you know go okay. into too much detail about the liquids there are liquids in the tank and you have to take them over to the l-sand and you have to dump them down what is basically a big smelly cloaca right like a big hole and that's fine that's fine. That's something you have to do, and you got to do it all the time. And sometimes they're dirtier, and sometimes they're less, you know. But the main thing is you have to take this thing, and you have to tilt it. And you have to tilt liquids out through a hole that's about that big in diameter into a hole that's, you know, about a two feet in diameter. It's not really it's that difficult. It's a funnel, isn't it? It's a funnel. Yeah. It's not really a difficult operation. It's not really a particularly dirty operation. You just, you do that, you rinse off the top, you flush the thing, no problem. It's but, but, on the day you've made the mistake of not realizing that around your pinky finger you have wrapped the bag of your dog's poop. And so you have this thing that pendulums and sort of freewheels into the path of the liquids. Your day doesn't go well. I mean, this, you know, it, it's, it's at this moment. It's at this moment, as this happens, that you're berating yourself for being the stupidest human being to ever live. <laughs> I'm walking along, and George and me, I'm like, just George, I'm glad you didn't see that, because you'd give me up as your owner, on sight. You'd, you'd have, oh my god. So was... what happened next? Did you get rebound? Uh, let's just say there was helicoptering. And there was me dodging out of the way of helicoptering, while, of course, having to maintain, like, continuous flow, and... In acting to make continuous flow, off-balancing myself onto one foot to try and get out of the way, of course, I caused the helicopter spin to increase in velocity. So, it just... Anyway. That's the first time I've heard that story. Yeah, it's the first time she's heard that story. This is her honest reaction. And no surprise. Yeah, no, no surprise. <laughs> That's the problem. There's no surprise in it. Just recognize <laughs> that every life has its downsides, no matter what and how good it looks on the outside. So yeah, we're in Marple, we're on the Macclesfield Canal, and we're heading south towards Macclesfield and the flight of locks, which is currently closed, to try and preserve water levels, but the water levels are just as low as they were yesterday. Yeah, so we're going to be striking bottom a bit today. It's not too bad if we stay in the centre of the channel. Well, uh, but yeah, if we pass a boat, it might be tricky. Yeah, yeah, so hopefully there aren't too many of those. I've seen one boat moving so far today with my own eyes, which was the... Trip boat. trip boat, which was going along announcing a bunch of historical well, stuff and everything. I assume they only had six passengers from the same. Can't be that many, but from the same family or yeah. whatever. I don't know. 
And yesterday, uh, although we didn't get it on camera, soon after we moored up, a fuel boat came along. Fuel boat, Walton, came past. Yeah. And we sh we should learn that when they do that like special horn sound, it's like not just a horn, it's like a... Well, it's a different sound for each of them. Oh, but yeah, know. it's a bit of a sort of alarm wasn't thing. Like that. Yeah, okay, it wasn't nothing like that. <laughs> and um, they pulled up, and luckily the boat behind us that was there, it's gone now, stopped them. So we. Um... Good morning. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, you're just the cutest. Good Hello, good morning. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> An adorable kid. <laughs> so, Michael. <laughs> Hello, ducky. So Michael popped out and we topped up our uh, diesel tank, which is always a good thing to do. Yeah, and it removes something I was thinking about, which was where am I going to top up with diesel next? So <laughs> and it's just it's just nice blowing from the boat. Like it's a big old working boat. Yeah, and the prices were actually pretty good. Um, their price on uh, we didn't need coal because we did our big coal purchase, but their price on coal would have been roughly equivalent. So um, yeah. really, because that was dirt cheap. Yeah, yeah. It seems like we're getting summer prices still. It's like yeah. it's not quite going to the to the full price of winter. He did tell me though that LPG, they only, they had one uh, empty I canister. They online. had no full canisters. They're I saying there's a big LPG. I saw online that someone was having problems getting LPG. Yeah, which is going to be interesting because that's what we cook with. In winter, we can cook on the stove as well. Yeah. So maybe we just need to be a bit careful. Yeah. Well, with luck. We don't run out. But yeah, it lasts months, so we should be okay. We are running out of battery power on this camera, though, so we better get going. So yeah, uh, anything else to communicate? <laughs> nope. About 16 miles that way is the locks. We won't make it today. No, I don't want to go that far, because if, if the locks are closed, and they are going to be closed for a week. Everyone's just going to bunch up at the locks, so I'd rather stop before the locks. Yeah, so we're probably going to go halfway, know, halfway maybe. Uh, do you want to walk for the initial part? I might just give George a little bit of exercise. I'm not desperate to walk, but I think he'd appreciate it. Okay, walk a couple of miles, then tell me, and then we will actually get up to speed. Right. Hey, I walk ahead of you a lot of the time. When I slow down. <laughs> when you go past boats. Yes, which is when I slow down. We're on the way. Just south of Marple at Hawk Green is the huge six-storey Goit Mill. The mill was built in 1905 and is now home to lots of different businesses. bridges on the Macclesfield Canal seem to have this distinctive oval shaped arch. Macclesfield Canal opened in 1831 and was one of the last canals to be built in Britain. It's also one of the last canals on this side of the network that we're going to explore, as we've already cruised on all of the other waterways on the north, south and west side of the system. 
There were proposals for a canal to link to the town of Macclesfield from 1765 onwards, but it wasn't until the Peak Forest Canal opened in 1794 that the scheme gained momentum, as the navigation could then link the Peak Forest Canal at Marple to the Trent and Mersey at Red Bull. It's a narrow canal and the locks can accommodate boats up to 70 feet long. Thomas Telford, the canal's designer, wanted to make it as straight and economical as possible, so he used the cut and fill technique, and rather than following the contours of the land, he built high embankments and deep cuttings. The navigation needed eight aqueducts along its 26 miles, and there are just 12 locks on the canal, which all make up the Bosley flight. Here is the New Horizons charity boat that belongs to the Stockport Canal Boat Trust. It's based in Marple and does trips along the upper levels of the Macclesfield and Peak Forest canals. And here is the rather colourful day boat that operates from Bollington Wharf. This is the village of High Lane where the only arm off the Macclesfield Canal is located. All the other wharfs on this canal are along its main line. The short entrance arm leads to a T-junction. From there, the right-hand arm was used for general cargo and the left-hand arm was used by the local coal pits. The wharf also serviced a brickworks and there were lime kilns constructed here too. The entrance of the High Lane arm is now home to the North Cheshire Cruising Club. Here the route of the canal crosses an embankment over Lady Brook Valley and the railway line to Buxton. There are some lovely long established and well loved permanent moorings along the offside of the canal here. What a gorgeous narrowboat that is. It has the look of a Dutch barge with a wheelhouse, but it must be less than seven feet wide to fit through the locks and bridge holes on this navigation. When the trees clear, there are some pretty spectacular views along here. There certainly are a lot of boats that call the Macclesfield Canal home, and you can't really blame them. It's a lovely canal, just look at those views. The non-muddy towpath is pretty attractive to walkers too. The 
canal widens at Brown Hills, possibly as a result of subsidence due to old coal mines in the area. There are some private pontoon moorings of the offsite making use of the wide, as well as some visitor moorings along the towpath. The whole area has a lovely feel to it, and the towpath is pretty busy with walkers out enjoying the sunshine and making use of the cafe. The wide section of canal continues on the other side of the bridge, but here there are barriers in the water to keep boats to the towpath side of the navigation. Has anybody lost a chicken? We've been lucky again with the weather, which certainly helps, but the views on this canal are almost as good as the ones we enjoyed on the Upper Peak Forest Canal. This is Lime View Marina at Adlington Basin, providing more permanent mooring opportunities. There's definitely been a lot of boats on the move today, which is so nice to see, despite the low water levels. Filming today has been really tricky due to the late summer sun, but my camera definitely doesn't do the artwork on this boat justice. It's just stunning.
ahead we get a glimpse of the huge Clarence Mill at Bollington, which is now home to some industrial units. If there'd been a free visit to Mooring here, we'd have happily stopped, but alas the towpath is pretty full, so we cruise on. Another huge embankment carries the canal across the valley, and then we cross the Bollington Aqueduct. In Bollington, houses line both sides of the canal. This is the boatyard at Bollington Wharf and opposite is another huge old mill. A Delphi mill was a silk mill and is now being used as office space. A lovely cruise. Yes, and now we have to sit in this funny position because if I move to the right, I'm going to be massively overexposed. If I move to the left, I'm going to be far darker. So here I am, just looking 16 shades darker than, than Joe. You are more tan than me, so. It's because of the, there's a big tree over here, and it's just got this dappled shade thing happening, and I'm kind of half this, in, half out. This is like the 15th position we've tried. Yeah, yeah, and we're we're just too tired to keep doing that. And like the um. The whole is a vlog we were cruising into the sun, so I don't know what footage we've got today. Yeah, probably a lot of backward shots. <laughs> yeah, but it's been a lovely day. It's just, it's mid-September or late September, and it's just been beautifully sunny, and this canal has been really pretty and beautiful. And Yeah, and friendly people all along it. Yeah, it's been lovely. Lots of little children staring at us. And, and saying hello. <laughs> yeah, it's been good fun. Yeah. Lots of boats on the move. We met a lot of boats coming towards us. Mm -hmm. Always um, at bridges. Yeah, I was going to say, nine times out of ten it was at bridges. Yeah. And nine times out of ten you had to give way to them. Yeah. But it was, it was fine. It was, it was like, the curse is real, people. The curse is real. <laughs> and we were going to stop back that way a little bit, but near the aqueduct, but that was quite busy. Yeah, um, so this is Bollington, and yeah. we are just through um, just, sort of the main area, because yeah. there's, there's a big rebuilt um, old mill building back there and um, had some cafes and stuff in the little discovery center and it looked really nice mm. but the visitor morning across from it were completely chock a block <laughs> so um, yeah so we're over here and George has decided that he wants his attention now so yeah are we gonna explore or are we gonna relax I'm thinking more relax okay yeah tomorrow we'll move towards Macclesfield do a little exploration in Macclesfield okay yeah so so that's it. That's yep. for today. It was a nice vlog. It was a nice, beautiful day. Really nice, really lovely weather. Probably going a bit downhill over the next few days, but it's yeah, good today. I'm glad we made the most of it today. Yeah, we're gonna make some more move tomorrow, and uh, and then if the weather does what the chickens are saying, it'll continue to get worse. Oh, it was funny to see the chicken walking down the road. <laughs> down the towpath. Yeah, and I was really like not finding it. And I said to the people that were walking their dog behind the chicken, "Are you taking your chicken for a walk?" And they laughed, but they're probably like rolling their eyes at me. <laughs> Um, and the poor rooster's running along going, I don't want to be a nugget. I do not want to be a McNugget. Save me. But um, also, we're only actually moving on <laughs> if the canal river just opened the locks again. Otherwise, we're stuck up here. Yeah, true. Yeah. The water's still quite low, but it's not, it doesn't seem to be getting any worse. But we don't really know, to be honest. No. We've got on the mooring, so it's all good. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to Minimalist Maximal Velocity for our time lapses. <laughs> That's our dog. And ring that bell if you want to get more notifications.
And we're recording. Morning. Oh, oh. Apparently that's in the wrong position. Morning. Nope, that's in the wrong position too. Okay, I'll just move that as well. Let's try that a third time. Morning. Well, first for me. First for you. <laughs> You're the one that was premature. Just, why don't you sit, Michael, in the position on this metal spike with... No, okay, that's not working. All right. All right, I gotta move over. Why yeah, are you so dark? Because hmm? there's the sun. There's the not sun. There's the sun. There's the not sun. You sit in the sun. If I sit in the sun, now I can't see. Okay, I'm coming in the sun. Okay, she is. And then people can't see you. No, they'll be able to see me. I'll just, I'm, I'm just swarthier than usual. Do I have the microphone? Yes. Okay.